Hey guys, Emma again. Welcome back to my shop. Day off again, which is fantastic. And it's probably time to start into another workshop series. So this last week I had a bit of a windfall and I picked up this this book from a local seller on eBay. I've been searching for it for probably 15 years and this one's in pretty good condition. It's all there. This is a a metal workbook for high schools that was published in England in 1972 and it details step by step building this little marine engine a single cylinder stationary oscillating engine and a boiler and then in a bit less detail this little traction engine now I've had a photocopy for a little while and I remember seeing this book in high school and I've been looking for it ever since. So this one turned up and I did pay for it, but it was kind of good to have and there was no no hesitation on it, on the whole deal. And it was a local seller, so we dropped it in. Now, I had some bits for this engine that a friend brought me out from Melbourne. It was a set of back wheels for the traction engine already machined as you see it's not a very big engine and there's a smoke box and chimney and a piece of tube for the boiler so someone's made a bit of a start on it and not got it finished so they were spare parts he had and I was glad to get them and I've been sort of hanging out to get the book now I picked these wheels up which were supposed to be Kenneth Wheels from Kenneth Wells traction engine front wheels. If we have a bit of a look, they're undersized by by quite a lot. I think these are about 60 millimeters, and they need to be 66. So they need to be 10 mil 10 mil thick, and these are only about eight. So they look a bit weedy on this engine. I think she's going to be pointing downhill a bit on the on the front, but. They probably shrink some tyres on the outside and might look alright. Uh, more likely I'm going to make some patterns and cast them eventually and make a, a new set of front wheels or pick up a, a genuine set. So they're bits for the, for the traction engine. But I thought, well, this is quite a nice little engine. And... The steam engine parts are all pretty basically the same for both. And the boilers are the same. They share quite a lot of parts. So I thought, well, let's get in and make a start. Get the, the sheet metal, stainless steel and the tin plate and the copper. Get it all stockpiled and make a start on the engine parts and make this engine up for a start and then we might get going and build a traction engine as well so this book's quite well laid out it's basically a classroom manual for building this engine the base is 20 gauge steel the burner unit's mostly tin plate and brass A firebox of stainless steel and steel with four rod, four spacer rods be holding it all together. The drawings are all in there in metric, and the boilers basically flange ends that go inside a copper tube with a. I don't think it's even got a stay rod between them, but mine might. The boiler fittings are all metric threads and it details in, in some detail the actual process of, of making the castings and it shows two, two different frames for the engine as um, this one's made out of sheet metal it's quite neat and tidy and this is a cast one 
which is cast aluminium, which is also fairly neat and tidy. Probably a little bit harder to get accurate and run and nice. So, that's the book. It's all there. I've got most of the materials. There's, there's a few things that we, we don't have yet. Mostly bits of sheep, but we will turn them up. I think if you have a look here, the, the traction engine boiler has got a stay rod in it, which isn't a bad idea, I reckon. Which is just 3 16 brass. Well, 3 16 copper would probably be better. We might just do that. And it's got a long nut to, to clamp it to the, to the firebox. So these are pretty rough castings, but I think they'll clean up, and that's part of the charm of the engine, really. So... This might be a fairly long running series. At this moment I'm not going to promise that we're ever going to get a traction engine finished, but I'd like to think we can get the, the little marine engine going. It's quite a neat thing. I've been meaning to make a boiler for a while. This book is fairly hard to find. It's only the second one I've ever seen. There are some photocopies, and if you search around for Kenneth Wells traction engine or step-by-step -step metal work 3 there are some drawings on the web in different places um, I don't think that any of those manuals are anywhere near complete but there's plenty enough there to get you going if you wanted to make one and I guess that's that's where we're going with this so I'm gonna try and post a video every week you might get a bit more when I get going but I've got a, a quite a list of materials that I still need to get. There's bits of tin plate and bits of stainless steel. And there's one bit of brass rod and there's some silver steel for axles and copper for the ends of the boiler, things like that. But the wheels are in, in motion to get them, so within a few days they'll be here and we can we can make a proper start, so Thanks for watching guys and don't forget to subscribe if you're a little bit interested in this series or any of the other stuff we do. And get in and make something. And that's what it's all about, you know. You gotta get up from in front of the TV and get to the workshop and start making something and you'll end up with something that's pretty sweet when you're finished and you'll be pleased with. So thanks guys.